Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2007 Formula Drift 599 GTB Fiorano Now this has 1,549 horsepower 1,196 pounds-feet of torque from its 6.5 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine The car itself now weighs 3,079 pounds, has all-wheel drive and it can only 0 to 60 in 1.903 seconds and 0 to 100 in 3.1 Seven three seconds. So we had this on the previous Ford Horizon game, but it only managed a miserable 247 miles an hour on that game. So hopefully we can get even faster than that. But obviously this is a drift car, and that means that it's not really wanting to go in the straight line. But hopefully the handling upgrades I've given it, like slick tyres, uh, wider tyres, racing suspension, will uh, tame its. Uh, you know, the drifting setup that it's got going on and uh, yeah, obviously it's hardly the lightest of cars while it has a rear wing on it that's quite large so who knows but yeah, definitely got one of the most powerful engines that we've had on this series so far so let's get out there and see what it can do so it's sort of easily one of the fastest to 60 as well so uh, I have no problem getting to a good rate of speed we should easily uh, get up to the top speed of the car in the previous game time at all so uh, and there we go already beating it which is pretty good let's do 55 260 265 come on anymore 268 got a fair few revs left there I'm sure we can get a little bit more than that but it's still pretty quick you know that's more than 20 mile an hour quicker than the car in the previous game so Definitely improvement. And like I've always said with cars on this game, as long as I can get a car faster than I could get it in a previous game, then we will try it on this series. So, uh, yeah, I've comfortably done that with this. So let's get to the downhill bit, see if we can gain speed and hopefully hold it on the flat bit. That's the more important part. Gain speed, not a huge amount though. 268 looks like all oh, we're gonna get. I say that, but obviously it's far faster than what it was in the previous game, and it's hardly the slowest car that we've had on this series. So yeah, 268 mile an hour. That's pretty good for a car that's been, you know, pretty much purely set up for drifting. So uh, yeah, and we were hardly getting uh, sliding around corners. So uh, yeah, that is the second Ferrari to get up to that kind of speed, as the SF90 Stradale also managed 268. And it's also the same speed that the AMC Javelin AMX in the previous episode also managed. And we're also quicker than now than the Eagle Speedster, the Porsche 911 Sport Classic, the Toyota GR Supra and the Bentley Turbo R. But we're far behind the likes of the Ferrari Monza SP2 which was 3 mile an hour quicker than this. And as well as the likes of a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Uh, and behind other Ferraris like the F8 Tributo J50. Uh, the 599XX, which is basically the racing version of the 599 that we've got here. Uh, yeah, that 599XX is the fastest Ferrari we've had. So, yeah, and that managed, what was it? Uh, let's have a look. 277. So, we're not massively far off that 599XX, which is obviously a car more built for straight line speed. So, uh, yeah, that's fairly good, quite frankly. And, uh, yeah be interested to see what other drift cars can do on this series because they typically have a lot more power than you can get out of their standard cars even when upgraded so uh, yeah let's uh, hopefully uh, get uh, even faster cars out of those because uh, there's plenty of other form of drift vehicles to try out so uh, yeah but nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye